Varsity Club, welcome back to another classic. The Shamrocks came off a crazy win last week, and now it's time to see if they can win the Super Bowl against the Baltimore Ravens. Lamar Jackson is no joke, and he is going to be a tough person to handle today. And look, we are one game away from a Lombardi Trophy, our first one in franchise history. It's taken too long. Time is ours. Before we jump into that, I'll give you guys a quick look again at the Pro Bowl roster. We had a lot of guys that ultimately would have made it, but we don't really get to see who some of them are because, well, we're playing in the Super Bowl. So Mahomes, Jimmy Weber, Prescott, Will Hall, a lot of familiar names here. Elliot, McCaffrey, Mixon, uh, James, or Justin James is out there. Again, he's been killing it uh, on the AFC side. Devontae Adams, uh, Harry, Tyreek Hill, DJ Shark. Shepard, Christian Kirk. I mean, there is a lot of big names on here. Again, as we go through this, let me know who you think on our team might have ultimately made it. And if there's any names that are crazy and sort of blow your mind, let me know who they are too. Also Van Dyke, Dorian Van Dyke, six foot eight beast. Of course, he's gonna make it out there. But again, big names you think made it, big names you think maybe should have made it from what you've seen in this universe. I wanna know what you ultimately think. But again, I think we know the usual suspects from our team probably made it. Before the game, Luke Bishop ended up getting an opportunity to be upgraded, and the big thing he unlocked was a new ability. So we have Unfakeable. Uh, he's rarely faked out by ball carrier moves. And the other one we have is Short Route KO. So the ability to force more catch tackle knockouts in man to man versus short routes in less than 10 yards from the line of scrimmage. We run a lot of man, especially for our linebackers. So that's good news. Quick look at some of the awards in the year. Again, I feel kind of slighted that our guy Rashawn Dorsett, who had a monster year, lost to Dak Prescott in the MVP, but it is what it is. From a coach of the year standpoint, Ron Rivera takes that home at 11 5. Like I got kind of slighted being 12 and four, but it is what it is. On the AFC side, Mr. Mahomes takes home the Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Miles Jack. Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Torian Holt of the Baltimore Ravens, who will be playing today. Defensive Rookie of the Year goes to Sidney Mitchell of the Ravens, who again, were playing today. So they had a heck of a draft in the offense of the Defensive Rookie of the Year. Best Quarterback goes to Mahomes with Lamar being second place there. Best Running Back is Joe Mixon, Kamara again. Second place there, this Ravens team is loaded. Best wide receiver goes to the Patriots. They've got Devin Duvernay, who is third on that list. So again, a lot of talent there in Baltimore. Best offensive lineman, Ronnie Stanley of the Ravens. Best D lineman, DeForest Buckner of the Colts. Best linebacker, Miles Jack. Best DB, Darius Slay Jr. And best kicker, because they're people too, Harrison Butker. On the NFC side, Dak Prescott takes home the offensive player of the year. Again, I feel Rashawn Dorsett got slighted, but it is what it is. Defensive player of the year goes to Christian Beckham. We see offensive rookie of the year goes to Chester Campbell. We had uh, Junior Sellers there at fourth. Again, our fullback who didn't get a ton of carries, but the dude is really good. Defensive rookie of the year goes to Luke Bishop with Justin Sweeney behind him. Sweeney maybe could have beat him out had he not got injured. Again, we won't have him for the Super Bowl, which definitely hurts. As quarterback, though, does go to Rashawn Dorsett, who again beat out Dak Prescott, but he didn't beat him out in the MVP and the other award for offensive player of the year. So that's kind of weird, but best running back goes to Zeke, your best receiver, our guy, Abdul Bartel, best kid we've had in such a long time. He's so talented. Uh, best offensive lineman goes to Ryan Ramjick. Uh, best D lineman goes to Dorian Van Dyke. No one's really surprised there. That guy is an absolute beast. Best linebacker is Marshall Bird, who again was hurt in our game against the Lions, who thankfully, you know, wasn't playing against us. Best DB is Jalen Johnson. Your best kicker, because they're people too, is Eddie Pinheiro. And just to tell you why I feel kind of slighted by Rashawn Dorsett not getting the MVP over Dak Prescott, he had 5,006 passing yards versus 4,500 from Dak. He had 40 passing touchdowns versus Dak, again, having the same amount. Dak did throw eight less interceptions, but there's another thing that really separates the two of them. If you look at what Dak did on the ground, 274 yards and three touchdowns. But let's check out Rashawn Dorsett. We see more rushing yards, 333 and five touchdowns. Maybe the fumbles mattered a little bit there, but I mean, he had more total yards, more total touchdowns. He just had more interceptions and turnovers, but still, I think he had a better year. But the best way to show that you should have won the MVP, that you're the better player, is to go out here and prove you're in the Super Bowl for a reason. Rashawn Dorsett, Dad Lindley, that incredible defense we've got back there. Your job today, win a Lombardi for the first time in franchise history and prove that you are the best team with the best players. Make it known to everybody. Now, Dad Lindley had five rushing touchdowns, the most he's ever had in a postseason. In the Super Bowl, I'm not saying we're going to need five from him, but we're going to need a whole lot from him today from production. And Abdul Bartel, wide receiver of the year, has to be a big factor today as well. We need Bronco Barnett. We need all of our guys really to step up big today. A lot of pressure, and Bartel with the one-handed grab in traffic. Gotta love it. If you notice the end of the play, Dorsett was pretty upset. I mean, the dude got hit pretty late, wanted the flag. Refs didn't give it to him. 
I'm gonna let people play a little bit today and the Ravens are gonna be hitting hard all game long. They're keying in on Lindley pretty early and saying, look, if you wanna run the football, good luck. You gotta get past that front five, six, seven they've had on him. That's a tough one. So we go with a little bit of a halfback screen game. Lindley again, great in the receiving game and proves it there. Like what I'm seeing right now, they're actually press covering. Gallup, we're gonna put him back a little bit. We're set all by his lonesome. Bruh. Got Bartell wide open. Can't quite get it to him. Big play coming up here in second down. Lindley's gonna go out in motion. We're set again, all by his lonesome. Got a guy coming underneath Deontay Arnold, known for being crafty in the middle of the field. He picks up a big gain there. Third down and in inches again. Lindley only has four rushy yards on a couple of carries so far today, but we need him to get at least one here. Nice gap for him. Lindley's gonna burst through. That's the biggest gain he's had all day. We'll take that big pickup. That's what you wanna see. You wanna see your big time player making big time plays in the middle of the field. We're actually gonna clear out this with Gallup going deep so we can hopefully hit Bartell across the middle if Gallup doesn't have favorite. Ooh. Dorsett still finds Bartel, gets hit at the last second and again, another strike. We need him up healthy, but he's making good passes right now. The big thing we're trying to make sure we do today is establish the run. We got to make sure they know we're going to run the ball no matter what. We're going to find big gaps and Lily is going to go in for another touchdown in the playoffs. First of the Super Bowl. The big fella, the muscle hamster, came to play. Excited to see what our team can ultimately do again. This is going to be an absolute tough matchup. Kamara, Lamar Jackson, Duvernay. This Baltimore Ravens team is stacked. They got a great offensive line as well. We've got to make sure we shut down at least one facet of it and pray our offense does the rest. On well, second and six action. Lamar Jackson and Kamara is probably one of the scariest tandems I can think of in the NFL right now. Like, if that happened in real life, I'd be screaming. Big play coming up. Third down and three. Jamison Biddle coming through in the blitz. Trying to fill some gaps here. Kamara goes nowhere. Biddle wraps him up, and we've got ourselves a three and out. You gotta love it. What I don't necessarily love is the fact that Baltimore's punter put it literally down to the one yard line. So things are a little bit dicey here. Trying to get some blocks. And Lindley, those gonna give us a little bit of breathe room as he picks up six. We've had a lot of issues this season with going away from our identity, which you guys know is established as the running game. We found it here in the postseason. We were bearing the fruits because of it. Dorsett scrambling, don't really see this much. Looking to pick up some big yards here. Dorsett is going to keep it moving. He's going to go out of bounds all the way down to the 44. That is 37 yards. What a block downfield by the receiver as well. We've been waiting for him to step up early, play like the 99 overall that he is. And three years in, the young fella's doing it. Almost to midfield. Got your guys dropping back. Got a guy wide over here in Bartell. Bartell's going to turn the field, looking a little slow. Lockley's trying to chase him down. Bartell's going to stretch it in, and Bartell is in the end zone, ladies and gentlemen. We got the rushing touchdown with Lindley. The wide receiver of the year goes 56 yards to the end zone after his quarterback scramble for 37. This offense is killing it. The defense so far has looked pretty good. Baltimore had the ball again. Couldn't really do much with it, so we have it here. First down, 10 to go. Trying to get a three-score lead, but Baltimore knows the run game's coming. Well, second and 11, putting again Lindley in motion. This play worked earlier, trying it again. Don't love what we saw there and don't love the reception attempt by Gallup. We got a big third down and 11 coming. Looks like a blitz is coming here. We'll put Bartell right across where the blitz is coming from. See if we can get it to work. We got the favorable matchup. They leave him completely open in the middle. He breaks some tackles. Bartell is moving to the 39. The young fella who came to play. Start of the second quarter. We're in field goal range already, assuming our kicker can get that accuracy under control. An opportunity to go up three scores is Thad Lindley. Likes what he sees, breaks some ankles, pushes his way through for about nine big yards. They say it was only eight yards, but look, the way Thad Lindley has been running in the postseason has been such a big deal for us. That is our identity on offense. We didn't have it for a long time. We didn't feel like we didn't have it for a long time. And with the offensive line pushing like this, Lindley is unstoppable. I think our play calling has been phenomenal today as well. We're really finding the right matchups, exploiting when we need to making good reads going underneath here Arnold again not going to be a ton of yards but he picks up a couple of here second and seven door set again and shotgun all by his lonesome Gallup on the comeback route then one hand to snag brings it in he's out of the 10. we've been chewing clock we've been controlling the football and Baltimore's offense has been stagnant so far today we are playing the game we're destined to play today Sean Dorsett again, feeling the pressure. Gets rid of one, should have gotten rid of it a long time ago though. That play was a rare W right now for the Ravens. They need something. A stop here for them would be huge, but a touchdown for us would just be monumental. And the ball into Lindley again, not a ton of room for him. He gets batted around like a pinball, but picks up three. We got a blitz coming, Rashawn Dorsett again. He's able to pick that up here. Arnett might be our guy. Arnett, 
That's a slow break, but he gets both feet down and absolute laser on my door set. And Barnett, just up a touchdown, young fella. We're spreading him around. Baltimore, though, is not giving up here. Still early in the game. Touchdown makes things a lot more manageable. Lamar Jackson, the company, moving the ball across the 50 from the 43 now. They go for the read option. This is what we were a little bit afraid of, but Glenn Wall stays at home and gets him up. Second and eight again. Jackson staying a shotgun. Sending a blitz through Kamara. Tries to break through, but Deron Payne gets him after a couple. The stop here would be absolutely huge. Baltimore knows they need something big. We're going to press cover and try to pressure Lamar. Bishop sending it. Gets pressure there. Lamar throws it out of bounds. That might be intentional grounding. Hopefully it's not a late hit on the quarterback. Who's that on? Is it on Bishop? That's my mistake. <laughs> so we just give to Baltimore the perfect opportunity to come out here. They got momentum now. They're inside almost the red zone. They're ready to get things going, but Deron Payne is not having any of it. Second and 11. Lamar hasn't really broken out so far today. He's still at around 11 or 10 yards. Setting the blitz. Lamar finds something big and gets it to the 15. That's going to be a first down with Hollywood Brown. Inside the red zone, Lamar makes a quick adjustment at the line. Middle land, but Montez Sweat hits Lamar so hard. And for anyone that's going to tell me this is not on all Madden, here's your proof. I had to check for myself. We're on all Madden. Doing our best right now to keep the pressure on Lamar. He's done a really good job so far today, but has not resulted in any points. He's gotten rid of the ball, hasn't turned it over. That's off Hollywood Brown's hands. Third and 12. Obviously going to be a pass play. Also trying to bring the pressure. Bishop comes off the edge, hits Lamar. Lamar gets rid of it. This guy kind of runs the wrong way. They pick up one. That was great play calling, and they got to kick a field goal. So Baltimore's lining up here. They've kind of chewed the clock a little bit. Or kick with a couple of seconds left here, trying to make it 21 to 3 in an 18 score game. But this is not what Baltimore wanted with that drive. They had a great momentum. We just did a really good job in the red zone of shutting them down. There's a lot of time on the clock right now for us to make some potential plays here. We just. Need to be careful of what we do. Nice little curl route. Deontay Arnold's going to catch that one. Gets out of bounds at the 41. What we've done is build one of the most incredible electric receiving cores you find in the entire NFL. We don't have guys that are really big, but we have short guys that can really burst out for speed. That has been a problem for NFL teams all season long. Another big grab there by Arnold. We're going to call a timeout there. Look, Baltimore's great in a lot of areas, but their secondary has been their biggest problem. And that's what we're trying to exploit so far today. Or set again, dropping back. That's probably not ideal. And we just got saved on that. That was pretty much quadruple or five man coverage that we threw that into. And the fact that it wasn't a pick is unbelievable. And Lindley just maybe ruin a man's career with that juke. Under 30 seconds left. A lot of potential here. Gallup had it on his hands, but couldn't bring it in. We've been trying to find Gallup a lot today. It's just, it's been a little tough. Now they got single high safety, so I kind of like our opportunity here. We might go right back to Gallup. Now they're kind of exploiting it. Martel right in the middle of the field is going to move his way down this time to the 20. It's getting close on 32. We're going to call the timeout. All right, this is a big one. They're blitzing, getting single high safety. This might go up to Gallup. We're going to put Lindley in motion. Blitz coming off the edge. Gallup going up. Tipped. It's not caught. It's a field goal coming. All right, so here's our field goal. Sean Lane has not been exactly automatic, so maybe messed up. That one's going to hook. That one is good. It's in. We're going to go into halftime with a 24-3 lead. This is not where I thought we'd be. The Ravens need a big drive, and right now we need to make sure we stop them and don't let them get any momentum. Walls is under Kamara this time. Oh, the halfback screen it isn't and Lamar looking a little lost right now. Our defense has been locked in right now. You absolutely got to love it. The run game though, I was going to say we have been doing well against and then Kamara just doubled his yards right there. Ravens again back in scoring territory. They want more than just a field goal this time. They want to try to make this game competitive. Nice blitz pick up there by Kamara. Walls just mauled him and then we see Carlton Davis get beat by Hollywood Brown on the curl route or the comeback route. That's the third grab of the game there by Hollywood Brown. Him and Luke Jackson and finding some routes that are working right now. Luke Bishop though is going to wrap up Kamara in the backfield. Gotta love it. Bishop has become such a good player for us in his rookie year. You gotta love what he's doing. Second and 11 again. They go right back to Kamara this time. They blow the middle of the field wide open. Blitz from the edge. They ran it right. Baltimore, they're on the board. So Baltimore comes out here in the second half and has a fantastic drive. Their best one of the day, obviously. And uh, there's a little bit of pressure on our side. 
Where's that dropping back? He's got Arnold wide open. Arnold's going to do his best and get his feet in. It's another big grab by him. Deontay Arnold is one of those guys that doesn't really get a ton of volume his way, but he can go for a ton of yards really quickly. It just takes a couple of moments to let him go. Keeping it going here. Almost across the 50. Lily across the middle. Big fella, get him involved. The lack of activity from Gallup today has just been a little disturbing, but again, I can't really be mad with the result right now. We use him as a decoy more than anything, and even letting that Bull Bartel just get off to the races, and the young fellas proving him. He's good. Maybe even great. Inside the 10 now, Baltimore's defense is just gassed beyond belief. Guys are breathing heavy right now. Giving it to Lindley. Lindley's trying to stretch it to the outside. Lindley gets a shoestring tackle for what could have been his second grab of the day. Heavy formation, Junior Sellers in the game. And one of the best fullbacks in the league. Not a lot of them right now. They're kind of a rare breed. Look at Lindley muscle his way through. Great block pickups across the board. It's our second rushing touchdown of the day. Lindley is back. Get things up here with a massive lead. Baltimore has a second and 12 after losing a couple of yards. Middle of the field, though, Lamar Jackson. They scored in the last drive. Can they do it again? They go for the dump off. We played that poorly. Kamara in the open field is a nightmare, and Mikas is going to pick him up at the 35. Short dump off passes have worked really well. I'm really proud of how our secondaries played. Trey Sanders has been locking down the right side of the field. Davis has given up a couple here and there, but again, I'm proud of what Sanders has done. Second and nine. Feels like a run. Moving their tight end in the right hand side. Walls, see what he can do. He's going to wrap up Kamara, but he picks up a couple there to end the third quarter. Baltimore knows to be competitive in this game in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl, they have got to do something big here. This drive has got to be a touchdown. Nothing less. Lamar running for his life. Winfield, the rookie, comes through with a big sack. CJ, I see you. Fourth and 15. We're going to drop our coverage back a little bit. We know our guys have got to just stay in front. Make sure these guys don't get behind them. They go for one deep. Challenge. Carlton Davis. He says, excuse me. I might have reservations. No, he has reservations nowhere. Kamaris, I don't care about his reservations. Davis got beat a bunch early that time. No shot. We are seven minutes away from getting our Super Bowl title here. Dorsett and company, after having an unreal thriller last week, this game a lot less competitive. And look at Dorsett scamper up the middle this time on touch. He gets 52 yards on two attempts today. 21 point lead. Milking the clock, running the ball. Establishing the run today has been such a huge thing for us. And Lindley and Dorsett have been a great duo. Getting a two on that one. We're going to get it right back to Lindley. Try to stretch to the edge. Lindley. Nowhere to run that time. Big thing here, though, is we don't want to rest on our laurels. They got a couple of guys blitzing this play. Again, Dorsett able to recognize that pre-snap. That could have been terrible. All right, so we're going to line up for a 52-yard field goal. Eight mile an hour winds blowing back to the left. Sean Lane. I'm scared. This is up. This has got the distance. It is down the middle, and that one is good. Sean Lane has been money the Super Bowl so far. Shaky throughout the season, but now he's looking like money. Our main defense has been eating them up all game. Yes, they have some yards here and there, but for the most part, our defense has just been locked down. Watching the short routes. They go across the middle. It was wide open, and this time they're going to pick it down all the way to the 34. Lamar is still without a passing touchdown so far today. 34 to 10, four and a half minutes left. They go out of bounds again. Lamar can't find anyone and just throws it away. Second and 10, a little over four minutes left. And Lamar and company have been just lay struggling, as the French might say. You see a guy wide open in our zone coverage. Reynolds gets all the way down to the nine yard line. And now Baltimore's got a little bit of life breathing into him. Reynolds has been primarily covered by Trey Sanders. We switched to zone coverage there. Didn't really work out. He gets his first grab of the game. So with the hardest hit we've seen in the Super Bowl so far. Second to go, Lamar again making adjustments. A little over three minutes left. It's more about respect at this point. Lamar though, easy scamper to the end zone. You gotta wonder. Why haven't they tried the read option, speed option more today? Because we've struggled against covering it. Baltimore lines up and says they're going to actually go for it here. We're going to play for the pass. Two-point conversion. They go for the route, and Andrews killed us yet again. Mikas has not been able to cover him much today. Now, being down with the yard, Baltimore win for the onside kick. We recovered it, and, well, we've got a lot of time. We can try to burn off the clock here with the run game. They know that, so we're going to have to be careful. Pretty much, we'll get this play. We'll go right to the two-minute warning. Been right back to Lindley. He's got so much room trying to push the pile, and he does down inside the 30. Baltimore, it's not looking good for you. Two minute warning is here. Dad Lindley's got himself in the zone. Dorsett has himself in the zone. This is a tough moment for Baltimore. I mean, they're they're pretty much backs against the wall using all their timeouts, and they're down big. Baltimore isn't completely out of it, but at this point, if you don't get a stop here, down 16, 
you got no shot they need a turnover of epic proportions and probably running it back for a touchdown to make themselves okay here so it's one time out left baltimore ready to go on third and six but trying to make sure we stay in somewhat of a safe call here i want the halfback screen Lily trying to stretch it out. Lily's going to break the tackle. Lily's going to break through another one. And he's going to get the first down. Baltimore using their last time out. That's all for not at this point. Honestly, our main goal is I would love to get that. Lindley or Rashawn Dorsett a touchdown here. I feel like whoever gets that touchdown is probably going to end up being the Super Bowl MVP today because both of them have been great, honestly. Lamar not happy in the sidelines either. Running the clock on here, second and eight. Lindley trying to get to the edge. He's going to push again. This dude, the muscle hamster, carries him down to the eight yard line. An opportunity to get in the end zone here. Returning off two clock. Baltimore is done with all their timeouts. Lindley's going to burst through. Lindley's going to stretch. He's down at the one. We're going to call a timeout and let him get his gas back. But that was a heck of an effort. One yard line. Thad Lindley refreshed. Got some oxygen in the sideline. He's ready to get it going. It's wide open across the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all she wrote. We have waited what feels like forever to have this moment super bowl champions beside our name it is the year 2025 and we finally did it the lombardi is going to dublin it's an unreal feeling these guys have fought they have clawed and they never made it past an nfc championship game until this year meekins dorsett Lindley, Martell came along and was so good for us. Bishop came along this year and was so good for us. And we contained Lamar Jackson. One of the most difficult things to do in the NFL right now is stop Lamar Jackson from being productive. Somehow our defense lined up and did it today. And the news we get today is Thad Lindley, not one, not two, but three rushing touchdowns. Gets the player of the game, AKA the Super Bowl MVP. Honestly, it feels apropos. That is the guy that has been with this franchise for so long. He's been the rock of our franchise for so long. And through injury after injury, this dude has battled back. Finally, he has his name matched into a trophy. It'll never be taken away from him. We have a Lombardi. We got Thad Lindley as a Super Bowl MVP. We got Rashawn Dorsett balling out of control. This is a team that I'm proud of. And I'm happy to say they're Super Bowl champions. You can never take that away from them.